Okay, what up everyone? Gal3 Competitive Australia New Zealand back again after a bit of a little break here. I'm Mike Stone. Here with me today is Deadly. How's it going, Deadly? Not too bad, Mike Stone. Not too bad. Doing yeah, pretty good. That's, that's good to hear, man. Um, tonight we have Reborn Gaming taking on uh, Team Supremacy Ozone. Long ass name there. But yeah. while we're just waiting for an invite, we'll just give a bit of a little background history be between these two teams. Um, last time in the CGI final, uh, not final, league play, these teams took it out. I think Supremacy won that one. Just trying to find it out now. But I think Supremacy won 3-2 if I'm not mistaken. Um, yep, they won 3-2 in their last matchup. So still, still um, taking that fifth map still pretty even. I'm expecting Reborn to come back here and... Uh, you know, try to take this one harder than they would last time. Since it is finals, loser's team does get taken out of this competition. They get knocked out. Uh, what's your predictions? Deadly. Ooh, um, I would have to say Supremacy 3-2 regardless, but uh, Reborn has been surprising me a lot lately. They've been performing extremely well, um, and just they've been beating teams um, that I thought would be a lot um, higher than their their skill, but they've just they've been playing extremely well lately, and um, I, I really do think it's going to be a close game. So they actually beat what they beat Avant, they beat M12s, Team Vise, Traffic Nexus, and only just went down three two to BBR. So Reborn have been playing very well lately. Yeah, definitely Reborn have been playing extremely good, but so have Supremacy. Um, oh yes, yeah. Yep. So de it definitely is going to be a close match. Um, for the Supremacy side, we have Rogi, Metapod, Tame Boys, and Quincy, I believe. What do you think of that lineup? It's probably one of their strongest lineups. Probably is their strongest lineup. Very, um, it'll be very good lineup coming out of Supremacy. <laughs> yeah, and for the Reborn lineup, we have Arvo, Lumberjack, Atomic Spectator, and Viliami. I hope I'm getting these right because I'm just guessing here. <laughs> but um, I'm pretty sure those are the lineups for tonight. And um, yeah, so now we wait on the invite for that reborn lineup. I think that's a very strong lineup. Both teams are going to be sending strong lineups. I think for supremacy though, it's not their core. As for season three, they are changing up, uh, changing their lineup dramatically. Um, as Quincy is no longer going to be in the team for them. Mm -hmm. um, and no, I believe Quincy was coming in. Yeah, Quam and ramifications are co coming into the, uh, team supremacy. And I think also uh, Quincy just finished moving house. I think I'm not too sure on that one. So he might be a bit rusty coming into this. He could be also, you know, the motivation of not being in the team anymore could also play a bit of a factor. Who knows? Um, but regardless, there's two extremely strong lineups coming out of both teams. Um, and I think it's going to be very interesting. Yeah, definitely. Um, f let's see the maps for this thing while we're still waiting for an invite. Okay, maybe I would have started the stream a bit too early. You know, I'm on time. They're not. Um, for the match tipping, we have 12 votes to 10, I think it was, last time I checked, um, in Reborn Gaming's favour. So, you know, if the wow. community is rating them to beat them a bit more. Let me just check the updated ones. Yep, still 12 of 10. Uh, we have, let's see, uh, let's see the maps here. We have Clock Tower coming up first, then Dry Dock, King of the Hill Trenches, Execution Hotel, and then Thrashball coming up last. Oh, well, so it's actually a pretty good map cycle as well. It's pretty fair. So, yeah, there was it wasn't hotel King of the Hill, was it? It was trenches, did you say? Um, trenches, yeah. Yeah, thank God. I did not want to see a King of the Hill hotel, I'll be honest. <laughs> well, uh, there's a bit of an issue here. Uh, Supremacy don't have a host, so they want a neutral. Hmm. I don't think they'd want a Kiwi neutral. I'd say that would probably not be the preferred choice. Well, at the end of the day, they can get a neutral. Um, I can try neutraling because it's not taking up my whole net, but I don't really want to risk that. Um, if they want, they can test out me, or they can get another player in there. I guess I guess they have to kick you out because mm -hmm. uh, I definitely need to be here because I'm ref. So yeah, no, that's fine. Ref yep. streamer, it's all good. Um, it's their decision, I guess. Yep. But yes, both teams do need to agree to um. To a neutral host as well, so we have to take that into considerations. 
what might be good for supremacy might not be so good for reborn. So we might have to exactly. See. So if reborn disagree to a neutral host, then I guess um they just have to get a better host <laughs> or get try get a host anyway. Well, can't Rogi and Metapod both host? Not sure about Metapod. I'm pretty sure Rogi could. Um, not too sure, but as as I just said, you both teams need to agree to a neutral host. Otherwise, you can't just you can't just um you know do that. But um, Reborn can just say no. So um, at the end of the day, it's the ball's in their their court. But I just want to get this underway, and I just want to wait for an invite. Indeed. So it is actually Supremacy's host first, then, is it? Um, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. from what I'm hearing here. Alrighty. Um, let me just get my settings right. I have sound turned off for some reason. Don't know why. Uh, let's see who's actually here in this. I'm trying to see who I can contact to get this game underway. I think Lumberjack was in here earlier, wasn't he? I meant from the supremacy side. I'm talking to the oh. um, reborn side, but I need to get in contact with the supremacy side because they're meant to be hosting first. I have a message, so hopefully that should be my invite. Shout out to Mango. I hate you, Mango. God damn it. You got me excited for a second. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you do want any shout outs or whatever, remember to um, just tweet me or Deadly. That'll be the easiest way. Um, I'm at Mike's94, and Deadly is. At Gow Deadly. At Gow Deadly, alright. I only have 20 followers, so get following. Oh. Alright, Metapod wants me to join a party. Give me a second. Okay. Now I need to plug a mic in. That doesn't want a neutral host. Hello. Get the host on. How is that even remotely fair? How is that even remotely balanced at all? Michael, why can't you host for us? Um, because I'm streaming. I don't care if it streams or not. I'd rather you mute your host. Metapod can stream. Oh, fuck. Now, can you host it? Because I don't want them to host it. Well, if, if they don't agree to a neutral, then, um, it's... You can't neutral. <laughs> It's yeah. It's 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 it's, it's if both teams don't agree to a neutral, it's um you can't get a neutral. Both teams need to agree to it for a neutral host. They like I said, if both teams need to agree to a neutral host for it to be neutral hosted, they don't need to be neutral hosted. But if you want, both teams need to. I don't know, that's just the way the rule is. So. That's fucking dumb. Well, I don't know. I I can try, but... <laughs> now, yeah, like, like I said, they... From what I hear, they said no to a neutral host, but I'm not too sure on that. Let me... I do realize you're, um, you're playing through game sound, just saying. Um, do you guys want to neutral host? Uh, I mean, want a neutral host or not? Yeah, Quincy, you made us forfeit our game against BBR, so if we win, no, no money for you. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll jump in game show and I'll plug my mic. Um, good luck, boys. Alright. Alrighty, so we are back deadly. 
Hello. Um, after a bit of a little debate here and some biased, or not biased, refing powers, but uh, refing powers nonetheless. It wouldn't be Gears without its few disputes, don't worry. Yes, a uh, few disputes and uh, carrying out rules here. So yeah, we can't get a neutral host unless both teams agree, so we're going to be going on to, I think it's Metapod's host. Okay. I'm not sure how good Metapod's host is, but we'll get this started. I think I said first map was Clock Tower. Um, yeah, shout out to Egypt D and... <clears throat> Let me just read this for you. I should probably read the tweet first. I just saw a buzz up on my phone. Okay, so let's see. Oh, wait, yeah, just open Twitter. Twitter. Open. Okay, my Twitter's not opening. That's awkward. Wait, real quickly. Uh, links banned in the chat? Um, I'm not too sure. I don't think so. I think we took that off. How awkward would that be if I got myself banned from the chat? <laughs> uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't ban you from the chat. It just doesn't um, let you put the link in. That's for mine. Oh, uh, yeah, there's you. And that's for Mike's though. All right. So if you want to follow us, just go to those links. Hey, it's not my fault. My Twitter stopped working. Okay. I'm just gonna do a shout out to your real names. It's easier. Shout out to Mary and shout out to Sammy. Okay. There we go. Good. Uh. Good old admining team right there. One, one Australian, one New Zealander, you know, as it should be. Isn't that mm -hmm. right, Lily? Make sure it's good. Uh, they're just re-hosting the lobby, so um, I should probably invite you next time I get in the lobby, though. That would be good. Good start. It's already been uh, 16 minutes, and we still haven't even, you know, got into the first map. It's not Giz of War without the... Delays. <laughs> delays, yep. Disputes, delays, equals Giz of War. Alrighty, so let's invite you in here. Hold on. Ah, uh, you're already in here. Okay, beat me to it. No worries. I'm too quick, man. Alrighty, so um, they want me to actually spectate the Reborn team most of the time anyway. I don't think they want to get listened in on. Um, so I'll be going to the Reborn team most of the time. Um, mm -hmm. Just letting you know that. So if we ever go on the other teams to swap over. Okay. So Reborn doesn't want to be less than none? Um, so well, that's what Metapod told me anyway. He just said to go to their team. So we respect those wishes, you know? Mm-hmm. Yep. We could get in trouble, Meister. We don't want that. Yes, 21 followers. Who's that sexy person that followed me? Zez Morrow, thank you very much. Oh, Atomic Spectator. That's right, he's in Reborn. <sighs> yeah, so as I said earlier, I think I was right with the lineups for Supremacy. We have Metapod, Quincy, SPR, Tame, and Rogi ZZ. And for the um, the Reborn lineup, we have Arvo, Lumberjack, Atomic Spectator, and Viliami, who's yet to join the actual game itself. And there we go. So finally, we can get this thing underway. I'm excited for this match. What about you? Very, very much so. Um, haven't actually casted in a while, Mike. Though. A bit rusty, I think. I think me too. Um, it's definitely been a while. My stream's been KO'd for a while. Um, so I, I haven't personally been able to stream on the channel, but hopefully I can make a bit of a comeback here. Mm -hmm. I'm worried. <laughs> oh, God, how loud is that TV? <laughs> All right. Okay, so um, first map is what is the first map? Clock Tower. I've said it like fifty times, and I still forget. Clock Tower. Well, fun facts. We recently actually, um, I think yesterday, I think it was, or two days ago, we scrimmed supremacy. Awkward. Jump down. Um, I like to think of um, us as a pretty good um, Clock Tower team. We're we're okay at it. We're not too bad. Sorry, I'm just gonna point out here, Lumberjack singing. Just gonna turn up the game volume a bit here just to hear that. One comes between the Live in game chat again. Lumberjack, uh, keep going, come so on. So they can have a listen in. 
Come on, Tim. Keep singing. Hit that chorus. Hit that chorus. Huh? Hey, don't worry about it. Uh, well, we stopped now, so I'm going to turn it back down. But, yeah, I was. I thought uh, he was going to start singing a bit of a chorus here, but no, not even. So, it's yeah, um, remember to spectate. Deadly? Oh, God. See, see what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Rusty. You haven't even uh, spectated <laughs> a game in a while. God. Um, but uh, like I was saying, I think of us as a fairly good clock tower team, I guess. Um, we have our downs, but regardless, Supremacy two days ago absolutely decimated us. Um, it was probably one of the most one-sided maps I've ever seen in Gears of War, so uh, I think they'll be coming out very strong. I'd say this is Supremacy's map. Alright, so Supremacy's map, care to take a score for that? For that call? That prediction? I'm going to go... I'm going to go a bit extreme and say 4-0 Supremacy. 4-0 Supremacy, that's a big call. Yeah, it's a big call. That is Just for this map, call. just for just, this map. Yeah, yeah. I, well, of course they can't do 4-0 um, total. Remember, it's, it's first whoever gets three. First to um, three. They don't need to play all five maps, but... Oh. Someone screwed up here. Oh, God. Did Ribbon it catch... Spawn? I'm guessing so. Um, to the stream, what are your predictions as well? Um, feel free to post them in the stream chat. We'll... Just... Yeah, it must have been some weapon swaps here. So we, um, as we're going to see here, the supremacy team is still in party chat. I'm pretty sure. I guess they don't want to be heard. <laughs> but we don't worry. We can still hear um, the wonderful singing of the reborn team. But um, hopefully the weapon swaps will be right this time when we get this map finally started. We are 20 minutes late actually, um, but it's not gears without a bit of delays, as we've mentioned before. Mm-hmm. This is, it's always like this, don't worry. It seems like there's always some type of weapon swap problem during the game, so. It's alright. Patience. Excuse me, like, cough up a furball. <laughs> Numberjack, you are excused. You can cough up that furball anytime you want. Alrighty, so, um, I know we haven't started yet much, but. Um, what do you guys think of the quality so far? Has it been jittery or has it been running smooth? It's good to know. I haven't been streaming in a while because my computer broke, but uh, set up a new computer specifically just for streaming out of spare parts and hopefully it should be working fine. But um, if there is any problems, feel free to let me know. Um, and any improvements you guys might think as well, that also would be great. And um, yeah, finally, hopefully we can start this map. You made a out. computer out of spare parts? I did actually, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I have a lot of spare parts. Oh, that's that's impressive. Yeah. Well and played. It, and it works too, so that's that's good. Okay. It'd be pretty sucky if it didn't, but yeah. yeah. Um. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, go, going into this. Sorry, I was just listening to the, the um, little call out so I can make a good prediction of where they're going to go. But um, where do you think they're going to be starting off into this map? Uh, supremacy to push this. boom. Supremacy to push boom pretty hard, I'd imagine. Okay, Boston well, I'm going to go to the overhead map this time. They're going to be sending four down bottom for each team, one for the cog team. One's going to be sitting at that back pole plant lancering in. Spectator's going to be going for the boom guy. Quincy takes out Lumberjack. Quincy, oh, Quincy takes out Lumberjack. Oh, picking up. Lovely double. Atomic Spectator manages to take out Quincy. Tame boys, and I think that's Rogies there to help uh, to take out Atomic Spectator. And, uh, oh, we already got a white button, Mikester. is going to be white buttoning Vili Army, but he's going to be taken out by his teammate to get that stopped. By uh, Metapod, I'm pretty sure that was shooting that boom shot from the boom. And the first round goes straight to Supremacy. Quincy going huge with that nice double kill early on in the match. Yeah, definitely. So, um, Quincy coming Gonna out go with, off with him this time. See if teams want to mix it up this time. So, we are going to see a three, four push down bottom again for both teams. Same thing for both teams. One person staying back at the pot plant for reborn. And we do see one guy going nades for supremacy. Lumberjack's going to pick up that move. Quincy's going to go for the mantle kick. Oh, Lumberjack gets the triple. Lumberjack. Quincy, Metapod, and Tang Boys all get taken out. Uh, but now it's a 1v1 situation because Rogu was able to make some quick work um, with that last player down at the that pot plant uh, next to the statue. But Lumberjack still, still has two booms left. He's going to get taken a full red, but he manages to still stay alive. He can get across from there, and he gets taken down. I don't think I don't think Rogi's going to be able to get to him in time, but maybe he's going to get the Lancer planted out. Let's swap over to Rogi. He's going to be sitting on that statue. No, he's not going to be able to get back to him on time. Lumberjack gets back up, 
and he's going to go be going up that top, get that map control. Rogi's going to be running down bottom. I'm pretty sure if he was smart, yep, he's going to be running back to that, sp uh, back to the pistol. Yeah. That boom was huge for his team. Like trading one of his own players for three of theirs is like wow. Like very well played coming out of Lumberjack. Yeah, definitely. His uh, team. He is I playing heard Arvo um, calling out, get the boom, get the boom, and he just got it and made work with it. Rogi's going to be going back to that spawn. Lumberjack can get the shot. Oh, Lumberjack nearly killing himself there. He nearly, um, I think, I'm pretty sure he nearly blind fired onto the cover, um, which would have resulted in him killing himself. That would have been a disappointing end to such a great play as well. So yeah, I'm going to swap over. Hopefully. Let's find Lumberjack. Um, going over to the overhead map this time. Team is going to be going the same. No, Cog team is going to be sending one up top this time for the lance cross. The rest are going to be going and boom for that push. Uh, Metapod is going to be charging in for the boom. No, Atomic is going to be there for the flank. They have boom control now. Reborn. But Arvo Arvo gets taken down. down with the boom and Quincy gets a Quincy another double kill with boom taken, shot. Team boys gets taken down, but. Now Viliami's unfortunately going to get another Hawaii oh, execution by Rogi. Wow, I don't know if you actually saw that, but Quincy just got the sickest double kill of that boom shot, dude. He is making plays for his team, seriously. Yep. That is two doubles coming out of him, so it's plays coming from both teams. Lumberjack with the amazing boom, Quincy getting two double kills. Wow. Yeah, well I'm going to go into armor listening here with Team Reborn. Alright. They're pushing up Atomic, they're pushing up man. I'm full red. Yeah, I got this guy full red. Down, down. Nice yeah, one guys. Nice. This guy's down. Yeah, just hit me with the car. That's what I like to see! Carry on! Alright, so coming back into that deadly. Um, there goes your prediction out the window, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> your 4-0 little prediction here. Um, yeah. Broken already. Um, maybe we can see a bit of a reborn comeback here, and they're going to be doing. Reborn's going to be playing up top this time. We're going to send me three up top, one just sitting on tree, while Supremacy is going to be pushing straight for that boom, straight for those incins, and going to just be trying to charge back up their statue and not lose top control. But um, unfortunately, Reborn already have that capitalized downing Rogi. Rogi's going to crawl around and get picked up by his team. Uh, actually, I just want to quickly point out I thought we weren't supposed to do listenings to Reborn. Sorry? I thought Reborn did one listen-ins. <laughs> um, no, that was Supremacy that didn't want listen-ins. Oh, uh, okay. Alright. Alright. I got it. Okay. Okay. I apologize. <laughs> Alright, so we do see the boom in the hands of Tame Boys sitting in their boom car. Um, three of Supremacy's players are stuck in their little spawn area while we do have... Does Lumberjack have that sniper rifle? Oh, it's disappointing. I wanted to see him. And he actually gets Rogi down from up top there. Yeah, and that's Rogi's second down now. If he gets down again, um, he will be taken out. Metapod's getting full red as well, but he manages to uh, run around the clock there. Tameboy is still sitting in boom car, and Rogi gets taken down by Arvo from his third down. Um, nothing he could really do there. He was just boxed. He couldn't really go into anywhere. Uh, let's see. We have Tameboy still holding that boom shot at that car. We have Lumberjack. Um, sitting on those top stairs. He's going to be picking up that sniper now. We know how good Lumberjack is with that sniper. Hopefully he can pull off a nice shot. Keep your camera on him. Yeah, I'm going to be finding him. Let me just find him. Lumberjack with that sniper just sitting around that boom shield area. He is going to actually go over and have a look at Tame Boys that has their boom shot. Get oh, God. Oh, no, I was waiting for that. Oh, and oh, we're going to see a push coming up the flank. And we do see Metapod picking up Atomic Spectator. He is going to be pushing around on that death wall now. 2v2 up there, and Metapod goes down. Lumberjack's able to get the trade with Quincy, and Tame Boys does have the boom, though. But Tame Boys still has that boom shot. He, even though it's a 2v1, he can use that boom shot effectively and pick it off, pick it off um, the victory for Supremacy. It is definitely, um, you know, it is a 2v1, but like you said, Tame Boys does have that boom shot, so he could make a play here. 
Um, how much booms does he actually have, though? Does he have one boom left or two booms left? I'm not too sure. I've not been really paying much attention to him when he's been firing at all this game, uh, this round. So I'm not sure if has he even used one. I think he used one. Not too sure. I'm just going to oh, stick yeah. on Tame Boys here. He's going to be running around the clock. He's trying to make a sneaky little uh, push here to uh, pick off Viliami. And now he's going to be running up top. Um, still got that boom shot. The that uh, Insane just barely missing. But what sort of a oh boom my was god. that? Oh my god! What? What? Holy what? Holy crap! <laughs> I'm mind my language, but that was a. That was a what, crazy was, boom shot. What, that was, was a quick scope. That was a quick scope boom. That was just kind of like amen, shoot and run. <laughs> it didn't even look like that on on the screen. On the screen, it just looked like he just turned around, blind fired it, and it just went flying into other. I can't believe what I just saw with that boom shot, dude. That the speed in which he shot that. <laughs> Was oh, I don't know if that, that was luck. Just or... barely missing Tame Boys there. That hit him on the edge. It just wasn't close enough to direct um, kill him there. But damn, I'm still amazed by that boom shot. <laughs> that that was such a play as well because Arvo just got a like three fresh boom shots. In yeah, time exactly. just that that was uh, Reborn's round to win, and really Army saved by the stalemate. <laughs> wow. Okay. So there's just plays coming out of everywhere in this game. Oh my god. Look at Lumberjack. 7 to 3 for his team. Just going hey, absolutely. Um, they want to spectate Quincy for this round, so I'm going to go find Quincy. There we go. We've got Quincy. Um, he's going to be running up top for his team. Now they're going to be sending a 2 2, while Reborn's going to be sending 3 down bottom, 1 on statue. Quincy's still up top now for his team. He's actually going to be the one picking up the sniper. I actually haven't seen Quincy snipe before, so this is going to be neither interesting. Neither have I. Um, that boom, I can hear that just not actually being able to connect to anything. We've got Vili oh. Army pushing up on Quincy. Quincy's going to be running back to jail, but he's going to be running back on that boom shield side, pulling out that sniper. Um, they're just going to leave Tame Boys to him, and Quincy's just going to be sitting on death wall now with that sniper. I'll stick with Quincy for the whole round or until he dies. He's going to be just um, aiming at that boom shot. Guy, he couldn't get into cover then for a second. It would have been an easy headshot, but um, not too sure what the reborn members are doing. They're just poking their heads out for one second too long at a time. Someone's saying in chat it's not Quincy. Hmm? I don't know what that means. Yeah, neither do I. Um, uh, but he's pushing back the statue now. Um, and Tame Boys is going to be able to pick up a kill on Atomic Spectator. Nice little cro um, shot in the back with a sniper. Yeah, Tame Boys gets the double, oh. and uh, Rogi picks off one of those members as well, dude. Oh, okay. Apparently, Quincy is actually Ubi. Is Ubi playing on his account? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. What? I, I don't uh, know. I'm confused. Um, four, five, six. I think this is the seventh round. I'm not too sure. But I'm pretty sure the game would have ended. Uh, the game is already in. Lumberjack with a flank. Oh, is he going to get him down? He does. He's going to get Quincy the down. The tame boy is going to be taking out Vili. No, maybe. Oh, oh. and Atomic uh, picking oh. up. <laughs> Reborn just getting those kills there. Rogi's last one alive with that boom shot. But as as I was just trying to say, oh, Rogi nearly killing himself there. But as I was trying to say earlier, I think um seven round or after this round, it will be seven rounds. There's been two stalemates. I'm pretty sure. Um, is my math right here? So Wait, I think they're so just going to be playing the seventh round rule. Except, yep, yeah, I think the match would be over right now due to the seven round rule. Uh, well, yep, there supremacy. We go. Yeah, there we go. Um, if it is Quincy, why don't they want listenings? I don't know. It could just be personal preference for the team. Some teams just don't like it. I don't know. Too shame. Oh. <laughs> when I joined the party, that were, um, that were, Rogi was saying something to cool. Quincy. He said Quincy anyway, but I couldn't hear Quincy back. So, not too sure what's going on there, but. Um... Oh, well, it's not. I guess so. <laughs> it's not for me to judge. Um, yeah, anyway, anyway, we see uh, Supremacy, Supremacy taking, taking out the first map 3 2 due to the 7 round rule. Mm -hmm. um, next map. I believe we're changing host straight away. I'm not too sure. We probably are. 
Um, okay, so we're going to be going on to Arvo's host, I would imagine. I think Lumberjack. Um, Lumberjack's hosting, okay. I think I have him added, don't I? Do I have Lumberjack added? I think so. Hmm. Yes, I do. Dum dum dum. Alrighty, so I'll probably should probably check my messages here to see. Oh, 35 messages. What the hell? 35. Mango. Really? Really, Mango? God damn. <laughs> I'm going to check my tweets in case anyone is um, asked for a shout out, I guess. Nope. No shout outs. Um, I've got the invite mic, sir. I'm joining. All right, you join that. You invite me, so I know if my thing hits the 36, then I should be uh, should be good. And yes, I'm sorry, I don't have a scoreboard. Um, using XSplit, I don't have the scoreboard operational yet for XSplit, as I've been using Ycast. I invited you. And um. Did you? Yes, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I have my invites, okay. Oh, well. Hello to ev uh, all 41 of you people watching. Oh, we have 41 viewers, okay. That's, that's, that's cool. I even forgot to post that on um, streams live, but yeah, no worries. It's pretty good. Clutch wants a shout-out, so shout-out to Clutch. Avant Clutch TT. He tweeted you, but I thought I'd say it because I saw it first, but yeah. No worries. It's not even coming up for me. Hmm. That's awkward. <laughs> My tweets aren't coming up. Oh god. <laughs> so um, who are we waiting on now? We have, let's see, Tame Boys and Quincy, I believe. Uh yes, Tame Boys and Quincy. Yep. And what's the second map again? Um, let's see, let's check that. Second map is Drydock Execution. Drydock Execution, alright. This map actually I've noticed lately is somewhat up-tempoed. Have you noticed that in your scrims? This this map actually goes through a lot quicker. A lot more teams seem to be doing the more well, Drydock, push. Um, yeah, they... Drydock, Drydock um, goes a bit more... We're talking about Drydock, yeah, because I wasn't paying attention for a second. Um, yeah, Drydock seems to be going a lot quicker than it used to, especially um, now that teams have learnt to adapt to play it both fast and slow. But we still do see it get slow sometimes. Um, can't really help it when the team doesn't want to lose a round. They mm. need to oh, yeah. Slow. Yeah, I'm saying that, though. This is actually um, finals gears, so it is pretty likely that we're going to see a bit of a slow tempo game. Yeah, and I've just seen the word um, that um, both teams are now going to be in party chat, so I don't think we'll be able to get any more listen-ins. No listen-ins. Yeah, so that's going to be a bit lame since, you know, set up the mixer and everything, can't even use it properly, but okay, no, no, don't worry about it. I'm just, I'm just glad that I don't have this massive background noise that my mic usually does. Because this is literally a ten dollar microphone from um, the local store of mine. Because I'm just that popper. That's all right. It's still I can't. I can still hear you. The stream can still hear you. So it's I right. can't. Af I can't afford them. Fancy um, them, them Astros. Them, them Astros. A them Astros. <laughs> and that would destroy my pocket. No. <laughs> oh god. All right. So um, for those who have just tuned in, we are so far one nil up. Um, Supremacy's way. They won the first map, Clock Tower, 3 2. Um, I think they're re hosting because some of their members might not be able to connect. Um, but as before, when you get an invite, let me know so I can check because I am being spammed by the Mango messages. <laughs> um, 
can't connect. Shout out to Lumbee and the good old Stiff Morrow Productions. Somehow make sure Lumbee can hear this shout out. Well, there you go, mate. Um, I'm pretty sure he's watching, so... Um, I finally got my tweet Twitter working now, so I can actually see these these tweets that have been said. So annoying. Twitter never works for me. Um, let's see if I have another invite. Hopefully, I have another invite. Beef, I do. He wants me to join a party. Sorry, Beef, I'm in the middle of casting, but let's join Lumberjack's invite. Um, we've spent 40 minutes and we've done one map. Good job, Gears Community Australia, New Zealand. We're going through these like clockwork. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're yep. jumping into this. You didn't even send me an invite. God damn. Totally did. You joined the, you joined the game, didn't even send me an invite. God. What is this? I so did. No, you didn't. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, coming into this, what do you think both teams will be sending in Execution Dry Dock? Hmm. I'd say it'd just be the normal. Um, a three push, probably one pickup, ink, go towards the mortar side on the fast rounds. Um the three obviously going up to the power weapon and the other team will probably go nades and push over to the one shot and push over bridge with the nades and possibly the one shot or the mortar so I'd say that will be how it goes it is final gears no one wants to be uh, losing and I don't really think we'll see many of the um, you know push the torque bow on the slow round unless obviously it's to try and get a lucky round maybe I don't know but I would say this will probably be a 4-3 in favour of, of Reborn. Okay, um, your call the first time wasn't so good, so I guess you wanted to make a closer call this time. Well, but, um, it, it was. It ended up being like 3-1 or something, so... Yeah, 3-1, three, 3-2 was... three, oh, three, technically, because um, the seventh round, uh, you know... Seventh round, yeah, true. Still counts. Still have Fair to play point. up to the seventh round, even if you're going to lose. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, Arvo's hosting. Okay. It looks like we're having everybody resetting the nets. Okay, so we have Quincy resetting his net. Tame Boy is possibly resetting his net. Um, Lumberjack possibly still hosting, or maybe not. I don't know. Let's see either that, no. Alrighty, so I'll just sit there, wait until it hits 35. Um, but yeah... Just a little bit of a shout out to the Giz for well, we are on the Gal Three Competitive Oz channel, so shout out to our tournament that we're going to be hosting in I think under two weeks time now, or just over two weeks time now, the Gears of War Three Australia New Zealand Community Competition. Um, first prize is four hundred dollars, so it's pretty good for a community run tournament, if I do say so myself. Oh yeah, very much so. Also, a uh, big shout out to the Gal Three Competitive Oz sponsors, Meister. Huh? You're meant to finish that off since you started it. All right. Yes, Mass Effects. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, for he is the graphics sponsor. Um, you should really go and check out his graphics. He is literally like he is amazing. He has made some amazing, amazing graphics. So check him out if you're looking for team graphics of any sort. <sighs> yeah, definitely. He's done. Um, he's done my Mike's the graphics. Done my team Envious graphics. Gal 3 competitive Oz graphics. I'm pretty sure he did your team's, um, well, your old, old team name, um, genocide. genocide graphics. I'm yep. um, pretty sure out of the Gears teams, he's done Call Me. Um, not too sure of the other teams he's done, but I know he's done a few more Gears teams as well. But if you actually look at the banner above the um, the Reborn Gaming versus Team Supremacy Ozone thing, uh, that is a little piece of his work that he did, so... Yeah, definitely, and now we have all players joining up, so now we can get Execution Dry Dock underway. <laughs> Dear Leo, might join party to prove Quincy isn't Ubi. We trust you, man. That's alright. It'd probably be better you doing it if we are going to actually do it, but... Okay, so, yeah, it doesn't matter what team we're on now since they're both in party chat, so we can just stay as we are. Um, I'm going to be looking at my little Savage Marauder here, um, and we're going to be seeing Reborn taking the Locust team. Um, it is not their host. Uh, it is their host, so they, um, so 
Supremacy get to choose. That's what I was meant to say, and I was getting tongue tied this whole time. But um, yeah, Supremacy is going to be choosing that cog side, getting that peace spawn, um, getting the quicker sided um, to the sniper. So sided. Side. 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 Sided. Side. Yep. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Bet grammar, son. Oh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but anywhere, yeah, in anywhere. There we go. Look, grammar fails all around. But we do see um, supremacy will begin that PS spawn, as you said, and cargo spawn will be the home of reborn for the first round. Um, actually, I'm going to say that it might even open up both teams going to the talk bar. Yeah, some teams like to contest straight out of the cargo spawn and go to that talk bar, sort of change it up. I'll go with um, Team Boys here. He's going to be getting the first uh, left spawn for his team. They're going to be going straight to that mortar. They're going to be pushing... No, one shot. Both of them are pushing mortar? Wow. Wow, wasn't I wrong? Yeah, she was definitely <laughs> Neither wrong Neither team there. we talk about. Um, that Ink oh, doesn't manage to stun Lumberjack. He's going to be getting out of there, getting the nice cross on Rogi. Rogi's going to get at the box now, but Lumberjack's going to get some nice crosses to stay alive. Um, the players who went talk bow for Reborn getting the nice cross on now... And uh, I don't know who's playing as Dom there, but he gets taken down as well. There's uh, two down guys, and they just run past him. Oh, no. Yeah, Metapod gets back up now, but he's the last one alive, and he's going to get taken down again by Spectator and Co. Oh, and um, the first Arlen, round, quick round. Two down guys. Um, 39 oh. second round. It was pretty crazy. You don't usually see a big, um, you know, crazy fight over the model like that. Usually yeah, especially the first round. You don't really see them contesting straight away. They might do it third round. Um, I've known a lot of teams do a third and fifth round or, you know, stuff like that. But um, we're going to be seeing, let's see, we're going to be seeing three going to the sniper for each team. And with uh, Rogi picking up, going for those nades as well. Or uh, Metapod actually Metapod down, gets with, taken that down with that ink. I'm going to go into Ghost Cam here just to zoom that up a bit. We have Team Boys Quincy on that cover as well. Metapod crawling out. He's going to get back up now. Um, we still have those three COG members there. Rogi's going to be on the other side now. Let's find Rogi. He's going to be taking on Atomic Spectator. Oh, um, that ink's going to be hitting red. Lumberjack direct. Tommy gets that taken down, but cool. Lumberjack's going to... Uh, Vili's going to be there to take out Rogi. Rogi gets um, taken down because Vili stunned him with that ink. And now Vili's going to be helping down... I think that was Quincy. Um, but now the last member alive is Vili Army. He's going to be taking a full red and he's going to be boxed behind that uh, that red box right there. That That is a great play coming out of Supremacy there. Uh, su su supremacy? What the Co hell? My What's microphone just like buzzed. No, I see supremacy, and my microphone just like killed my ears. And I see supremacy. Wow, <laughs> I can't say their name. My microphone keeps like buzzing out my ears real bad. Just, oh, it's just so weird. You say supremacy. Yeah, I don't know if it's like the way I pronounce it. Okay, wow. it's just a bit. <laughs> that is so weird. <laughs> That's just oh to be creepy. God. But uh, you gotta. All right, I'm just gonna I'm have just gonna to get your own. But draw. we're gonna be seeing. Tame Boy is going to get taken down, maybe? But Metapod's going to be pushing Lumberjack. Lumberjack gets taken down, but Arvo is going to take out Quincy. Rogi, Rogi and Metapod are going to take oh, Lumberjack and Spectator. We have Vili going to be downing two people, maybe? No. But he's going to be getting shot at the back now, and he's going to get taken out as well. We have the last member alive. Is Arvo is going to be chucking a nade up. Unfortunately, none of those nades connect. Um, both of those nades are wasted now. It's a 1v2 situation. Um, they do now know where he is due to the calls from his team. We're going to be seeing Metapod going on that middle bridge section. I'm going to be seeing... I reckon Arvo is going to make a push for it once he gets that advantage to... Um, anyway, I'm going to stick on Arvo, but no, he's not going to push. He's actually going to bail out because Metapod got to that cross quickly. And if he pushed, he would have got lanced down by Rogi. Now Rogi's going to be going from the advantage. <laughs> Arvo has nothing really he can do unless apart from back out. So, What do you so think, we Sophie? Do uh, pretty crazy. Um, it just seems like it's just constant, like, massive shock, shoddy, like, Lancer angled fights at, like, one spot on the map. You know how I was mentioning fast-paced Drydock? We're, like, witnessing it at its finest right now. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, I'm not sure how long that round took. I think it took around a minute and a half. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a longer round. Yeah. yeah, but that first round was 39 seconds, I believe, and definitely, um... Definitely quicker rounds than what we're used to seeing on stream, anyway, on Dry Dock. And we're going to see it again. Both teams pushing the sniper rifle instead of the mortar. Wow. So we're going to see pretty much a remake of the round two, two rounds ago. We do see... But this um, time we're going to be getting Supremacy with a better um, map awareness, but no, they're going to be taken down again. 
I said better map um, single, but Metapod takes out Atomic with the um, with that ink, so a very nice play by him, but really? he's going to be taking on his them. last down. Oh no! <laughs> the ink actually hit the cover and inked the front of the cover, so it stunned none of them and hurt none of them. Oh, unlucky. Oh, Vili so unlucky. Taking down Metapod, but Vili's going to get it back up now, and that uh, Dom's Quincy's going to get taken down. Metapod gets taken down by the ink as well. That fail ink turned out to be oh, wow. useful. Um, we're going to see Rogi pushing down Lumberjack. Lumberjack's going to be taking a full red, but no, um, Rogi's going to get taken down. Quincy's still taken down. He's going to need a bank of push. Tame Boys takes out Arvo. Is Quincy going to get back up? Oh, Metal. Really uh, is going to be mental. nice mental. Oh. Too late, but Quincy's going to get taken <laughs> down. Tame Boys, Tame Boys taking on oh. Lumberjack. And <laughs> Tame Boys with Tame the boys. Mantle didn't mantle him, and Lumberjack's just going to pick him off. So Lumberjack cleaning up that kill, bringing it to a 2-2 for Drydock now. So this map actually going to be a little bit closer than the other ones. Um, I'm loving these massive fights in these places. I'm going to put it out there right now. It is such a better way of watching Drydock. Definitely makes the same good map, Brogy just shooting some preactive bullets. In and it's happening again. We're going to be seeing them contesting again, okay. We're so we Tank Boys has I think a that's Lumberjack going to get taken down straight away by Rogi. I think all four members here for Reborn this time are here. Um, Vili gets taken down as well. Another Tank. Atomic's going to be left in a oh, corner here. Wow, Arvo gets taken down as well. Atomic's just going to be running to pick up, pick off Rogi with the Me Shield. Takes out Rogi even though he had the Me Shield, but he's going to get stunned. He's going to get taken down now. And um, yep, uh, all members uh, of Reborn. 32 second round. It's I don't see why you'd be contesting it round after round when it's definitely not working. Um, if that team gets there as they're meant to, the cargo spawn side, unless they get there really fast and use that ink effectively, they won't be able to win that side. No, um, but I don't know if you noticed, the teamwork coming out of Tame Boys and Quincy there was inc like great. It was it was really good. They made. And we've seen the um, same thing again. Sorry for interrupting you, but we're going to see Rogi getting taken down by Lumberjack. Just the vice versa here, but um, Rogi's going to be picked up here. And Lumberjack going to get taken down this time due to the teamwork of um, Tame Boys and Rogi there. And as we saw there, as I said earlier, um, well. you need great teamwork and well placement of that ink to um, to win that side round. As Supremacy just pro pro uh, proved, they're proved really. Their grammar right round. But um, we're going to be seeing Supremacy taking out the second map here, um, four two. So um, one more round here, King of the Hill trenches. I think I said. And Supremacy are definitely no pushovers on King of the Hill, so this is going to be a very interesting map. Reborn do, do have their luck cut out for them. Um, it will not be easy, but in saying that though, Reborn also an extremely strong King of the Hill team themselves in their own right. So it's going to be interesting. Yeah, definitely. Um, I can't wait to see King of the Hill. It's definitely the more fast-paced game type. Um, we're going to be seeing, I think, Metapod going to host again. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Let's check the Twitters. Yeah, I still got nothing, but um, neither. Let's see. Uh, what am I? Yeah, King of the Hill trenches. Definitely King of the Hill trenches. Um, what's your opinion on the map? Mine's more fifty-fifty. I I like it, but I don't like it sometimes, depending on the map. I think it's pretty even. Definitely much improved um, after they took out that top hill a while back. Oh, definitely. Uh, trenches was. I think a lot worse back when that top hill was there. Obviously, once you hit that top hill, it was almost, it pretty much was impossible to break. Um, and saying that though, uh, a lot of teams didn't really use the whole both, you know, pick up inks and then pick up nades and just like throw them all at the hill. Um, but in saying that though, at the moment, I think trenches, it's it's it deserves its place in the um, rotation of my eyes. I think it's. A pretty well balanced map. Uh, there aren't really that many um, hills that are real. I don't know one side. Like once you capture it, you've got it. Except for probably hovel. Um, I call it hovel cave to some. Um, yeah, I call it no, hovel I, I like as well. The map. <laughs> I, pers I personally like the map. Yeah, I think it deserves to be there. Yeah, I'm going to be saying uh, I think Supremacy could uh, take it, take this one out, and take out the clean three nil. Um, victory here, but then again, we can see a reborn comeback to take out this uh, map and maybe future map uh, maps and maybe take it to the fifth map. I'm going to be going for that because I want more stream time. Uh, yeah, 
<laughs> Quincy putting a little bit of LFC thing in the uh, chat. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, we'll give a bit of a shout out to that, to Quincy. Quincy LFC is a good player with a lot of experience and played for Supremacy, Malice, looking for a top CGI team worthy of his skill. Um, PM him on CG or send him a message on Xbox Live as GT is Quincy, two N's and two Y's. Bam, that advertisement. Yeah, mate. Get on him. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely a top player. Um, anyone will be uh, stupid not to pick him up anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Saying that, we have other players like Bear as well who definitely should be picked up anytime soon that haven't been picked up yet. Yep. I'm not too sure. I think, I think the real is. issue is, though, is the, uh, the CGI teams that are still there are pretty oh, well established. Yep. Um, so it might be hard to get in one of those top CGI teams just due to that. Um, definitely not due to the play skill of the players, Spectre. but more just, just more, um, more down to that. But yeah, regardless, best of luck to you, Quinn's dog. Look, I got my own like nickname for him. <laughs> Getting Skype messages. Alrighty, so Supremacy. I'm going to be maybe thinking one going to the ink, two going to the ring, and maybe one going to the hobble, or maybe that hobble person that I just called maybe going to the ring as well. Um, seeing a lot of different variations here. Yep. Predictions, Ming. Predictions for what? Oh, right. um, I'm going to be saying two. I, I want it to be a close one, so I'm going to be hoping and predicting 210 to maybe 200. I want to see it go down to the wire. Which team? Um, I'm gonna, I want to say Reborn because I want them to win. So, um, to make get more maps played. Yep, I want Reborn to win as well. I think they're uh, definitely capable of bringing this back. So we do see Metapod making his home up at the mulch at the top hill. Uh, actually making his place exactly where we were talking about earlier with the top hill that got taken out earlier um, this year. So we do see Villy sitting up at the crane. He will be trying to stop. Who is that? That is Quincy. And I think that's Rogie. Um, that's from, Tame, sorry, Boys Tame Boys with him, I'm pretty sure. Yep, from pushing up to that top hill. I do think Tame Boys is getting a bit of a flank, though. He is on. Uh, he is having to pull back now. Viliami is going to make him pull back. Oh, sorry. and Quincy accidentally downing Rogi there. Um, Vili putting a few nice shots into him. Uh, but Lumberjack. Quincy gets taken down by Vili. Lumberjack takes out Metapod, but Quincy manages to take out Viliam as well. I forgot to mention that. It was an update. Um, Lumberjack, I'm pretty sure, is on that top sandbag there. Rogi taking uh, Arvo out. That was a crazy shot as well. Now moving up into the hill. Rogi to take out a Tommy. Spectator. And, and he does. Gets taken down. Uh, Rogi gets taken a full red, but he's going to be running into the ink. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't get down there. I thought he was going to get down by that ink there. Um, but still, that hill, no points have gone on the board yet, and that's been almost uh, 30 seconds, I think, now. Um, it's definitely been a minute. It's been a minute 30, so <laughs> minute 20. Um, and only we, we're only just seeing points on the board here. Uh, yeah, I guess that's kind of predictable, though. Well, it, it usually happens, especially on this hill. Um, to get more than really 20 points out of this first hill is pretty rare, I would have to say. Um, so Supremacy are doing great actually managing to get 22 out of this hill. Yeah, and we'll Rogi getting a nice in. cross in the back, but he gets taken down after it takes out Arvo. Uh, we have Tamboys and Digger. We have Atomic and um, Metapod doing a little Lancer fight there. But now it's Metapod versus Vili, and Vili takes him out there. Um, we have Quincy sec securing that top sandbag control. Uh, and Tame Boy is picking up another ink. Lumberjack has those frags, but so I'm going to be sticking on him. Next hill is going to be... Where's the next hill at? It's at Hobble. Um, Lumberjack plants a nade before he gets taken... I think he got taken down. I'm not too sure. No, he's not taken down yet. Uh, close to it. But Rogi finishes up Lumberjack. And that tag nade does not manage to get any kills. So we have the first 22 points of the board going for Supremacy here, which is the Locust team, if you did not know already. Um... Yeah, your opinion so far? Uh, no, it's it's looking pretty good, especially coming out of Supremacy. Like I said, 22 um, points on that first hill is nothing to frown about, and they are going to be able to cap this hobble hill, but not for long, I would imagine. I'd say Reborn will be able to get a break, as he is about to now. Narvo's going to get a nice little mantle on Quincy, going to be able to pick him off as well, forcing Rogi to pull out of the hobble with the digger as well. Yep. Um, so Reborn getting their first points on the board. Yeah, Rogi not able to do much with those diggers. I think two of those three diggers that he shot were actually into just walls because he, he was trying to just quick sh shoot them um, and he didn't really... He, he was trying to wall bounce and then shoot and wasn't aiming anywhere. Um, poor use of those diggers. 
But now we see a, a more supremacy control of uh, of this hill. And yeah, so supremacy is going to be able to get the hill again. Like I said, first points on for reborn actually happens to be one point. <laughs> um, so they're going to be able to cap this now supremacy and take probably I'd say a good sixty point lead. Um, the next hill, where do you think the next hill will be? Probably I'd say up by the. Um, I'm going to say top line. marble train tracks. One of them too. Yep. Um, one of those two corner hills, but uh, Tamu is going to be pushing into two cog players, but he's going to manage to run away um, before he gets taken down. We still have those four supremacy members going to be pushing out the middle shoot. I'm um, going to be running to maybe one of these next two hills. Now, uh, Reborn managed to break that hill. Maybe they'll be able to milk it um, for the, in their team's favor. Um, and the next hill will be at train tracks. We do see Supremacy making a great transition there as well, being able to now Grinzy sit up on Grinzy taking Army in a nice shot there. I thought Vili would have had him, but he missed his shot in point-blank range. Um, but we're going to be seeing Reborn milk the hill now, um, waiting for their team to get set up in here. Um, you can milk, for those who don't know, you can milk the hill uh, for an unlimited, if you do it right for an unlimited period of time, um, which we see Reborn doing here. Now we're going to be seeing them... Um, stop milking the hill for some reason. I think maybe one of the Supremacy members might have gone into challenge, but now we see uh, half the members of Supremacy that were in the hill get taken out anyway. And Lumberjack's just going to be pushing your Metapod, takes him out, and they, now they got hill control. That was really well played from Reborn, um, obviously using that milking technique to stop them from being able to cap the hill straight away. That then gave Reborn enough time to kill the members in the uh, next hill and then be able to take over the hill for themselves and not allow supremacy any point so well played for everyone yeah exactly we have um, one cog member I think in that middle section Lumberjack just sitting with a meat shield in the ring two locust members just outside uh, Lumberjack here and one's going to be coming through the spawn I believe that's Metapod we have uh, but Metapod's going to be contested by Arvo and Arvo's going to take him down but Rogue's going to take out Viliami down at that crane area I'm going to see Tameboy is going to be pushing Lumberjack Rogue is going to be assisting with the Lancer Lumberjack's just charging in but no he's going to get taken down Arvo's there as well now we're going to uh, Rogue <laughs> chainsaws um, just reload chainsaw then we have three supremacy members in the ring Atomic going just try to push in uh, quickly, but unfortunately he's not able to capitalize and get any kills from that sneaky push. Um, but we have 25 points left in this hill. If I was, uh, if I was reborn, I'd be trying to predict where the next hill would be and set up perfectly on it. Uh, yeah, no, I totally agree. Uh, there's only 15 seconds on this hill. It is probably better to just let them have the 15 seconds set up for where you think the next hill will be and try and get the whole 70 out of it. And I would say it would be in the other ink, uh, opposite side. And it is. Bam. So... They should really be over there now. I don't really agree with Vili sitting here and sitting with Tame Boys. I already think he should be pulling out, especially not rushing. Um, is going to be dying there from Tame Boys. A bit of a mistake in my, my eyes and, and supremacy. I believe that was a team down. That is. Um, all four members are dead. I'm not too sure how long. I'm just going to have that scoreboard sitting up. For the Locust, uh, for the COG team, which is Reborn, we have Lumberjack topping the board with six skills, two caps, um, seven downs with 1,595 points. But for Supremacy, we have Rogi topping the board with... Five caps, um, eight kills, six downs, and 3,000 odd points. Uh, yeah, so we do going to see Supremacy now. Going to have a nice little setup on this ink hill. Uh, they are, if they manage to pull the whole 45 seconds left in this hill, it's going to be a huge lead coming out of Supremacy. Uh, we do see Vili, Army, and Lumberjack going up against Tame Boys and Quincy, and they're going to be able to beat them and uh, break this hill possibly be able to actually even get a cap on this but Rogi's coming in from behind he misses the shot behind him oh no he's gonna get killed oh he gets chainsawed the payback the payback chainsaw yeah and Atomic oh. is gonna go behind Metapod um, going through that hobble engine he's just gonna shoot him in the back and now Reborn have that control so we do see Quincy now going to be pushing up from the hob we're gonna be able to take out Billy Army nice little shot there Tayboy is uh, gonna be coming down from that barb as well just gonna get that cross Lumberjacks are just gonna be boxed he's gonna be running in but uh, 10 seconds left on this one, it's going to be a top barb next. Um, <laughs> Supremacy is going to just bow out of that uh, ink and trying to run up there, but the reborn is going to say no and just going to set up already. I think they spawn there. Uh, Vili unable to get the nice little uh, sweep shot there, and he's going to get taken out and punished for it. Metapod takes out Atomic with that ink. And we have Arvo and Lumberjack sitting in um, the next ring uh, with their lances out, just trying to prepare for it. Arvo is going to get the nice quick cap here, uh, but we're going to have... Supremacy going to be coming from each angle. Um, they're going to be going for that mine in the ring and around the crane area as well. 
I really would like to see a bit more people actually watching that low side uh, for Reborn. You do see that they actually got um, beat in there in Supremacy of being able to take this back. Oh yeah, I was going to say um, the army might have got double, but... Um, Reborn kind of spread themselves thin, like they knew that there was two, three people coming from the spawn area and they only had one or two people really defending it. I would have liked to see maybe a third person or that second person a bit closer watching the low side, but regardless, Supremacy's managed to pull this hill again, break the setup of Reborn and just flawless gameplay coming out of Supremacy. Breaking all the setups of Reborn. Yeah, definitely. One thing I noticed, especially when I was refing uh, last week's match against Reborn, uh, against Legacy, they get their setups earlier on and then they just get broken very easily and they're not able to hold them. Um, yeah. And then it just punishes punishes them. They can't really play it that well. And especially Supremacy, which is a very good um, King of the Hill team as well. Um, they they can just go in there and break it, get their own setups going on and hold them much longer than Reborn. Uh, yeah, no, I totally agree. Um... I don't know, it does seem like Reborn's uh, hill setups do seem to get broken quite quite a lot, um, like you said, for that Legacy game last time. But in saying that, though, they are going up against some extremely strong and smart teams. So if anyone's going to be able to break them, it will be Legacy or Supremacy. Um, so Tame Boy is now moving up. Arvo is going to be able to pick him off with the headshot. We do see Quincy in a 1v1 against... Uh, Tame Boys and Tame Boys going to be able to. Uh, sorry, Arvo, sorry. Well, Quincy versus Tame Boys, what? Arvo going to be able to take <laughs> out Quincy. And uh, the next hill is on the other uh, ink. Okay, let's uh, find them. We have Rogi taking on. I think he was taking on Viliami and Arvo. He managed to down Arvo, but Viliami just finished him off. Um, we're going to be seeing. I'd say I don't think anyone's in that ring section. I think, oh no, one Locust player, but two other Locust members are spawned in that hobble and are there to back him up. The one member that was in middle can't take all three of them on, so they could go for that quick cap. But Atomic Spectator's there at the barb side, with alongside Billy and Lumberjack. Quincy get takes them full red. He's going to get taken down by Lumberjack's Lancer. Um, and we're going to see... Let's see, we have Atomic and Billy just pushing up. Lumberjack with the Lancer support, taking on Rogi and Metapod, I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. No Metapod's there, definitely. We we're going to see the cross in a from, lot of uh, trouble. from Arvo. We're going to see some desperate pushes now coming out yeah, of Reborn. Yeah, just like you saw just then, as you called it. Lumberjack's just running straight in for the break, but unfortunately it's not able to do much. But Arvo's going to be taking down Metapod, but now he's going to get back up. They're going to need a break here. I'm going to find, let's see, we're finding Atomic and Vili. Quincy and Atomic trade here. We need Vili going to be able to do something. He's full red already, but no, he's going to take out Tame Boys. He's going to get down, but I reckon before he gets taken to the ring, he's not able to do much. And this map in this game is going to go to, um... No, Lumberjack is going to go for the break, as I oh. called that. And oh god, Arvo kills Lumberjack! No, Metapod going for that. It would have been it's, a double if Arvo didn't kill his teammate, but that's game. That's a clean 3 0 sweep to Supremacy. Uh, Supremacy just really, I'd have to say, just out outplaying Reborn on that King of the Hill. They outslayed, they just they broke the hills, or they broke up the setups of Reborn. Um, they held their setups, didn't let Reborn do much um, breaking themselves, so. Good job to Supremacy, well won. Yeah, definitely. Um, clean 3 nil. I wasn't expecting that one. I would have thought it'd be taken to the fifth map. Um, we've only been streaming, I think, for an hour as well, especially with our delays. These maps did get played pretty quickly. As you saw, Drydock got played very, very fast compared to how it's normally played out. Um, we saw the first map, Clock Tower, getting played um, pretty evenly at the start, but Supremacy getting another lead as well and getting the seven-round rule. Victory over that one. Um, any final words? Uh, just, I don't know, thank you to all the viewers that tuned in. Um, hope it wasn't too bad, and it was a good game, and well, one to Team Supremacy. Oh, and to remember to follow me at Gad Diddley. <laughs> on I just wanted to point out there, Metapod with 21 downs. Yeah, it's just disgusting, isn't it? Look at it. <laughs> 21 downs, that's uh, quite a lot of downs there, getting 4,320 points. Uh, my final words is just good game to both teams playing. Unfortunately, Reborn is now knocked out, I believe. It is, yep, they are. Yeah, Reborn's now knocked out, um, so unlucky to them. But they still make CGI next season as they place top four in this season. Um, but yeah, we see Reborn placing fourth, um, and they're knocked out now. So 
They don't need to play FFY, but they're still in for next season. But yes, remember to check out all the uh, Gal 3 competitive Oz NZ media on our Twitter, um, Facebook, and YouTube. That's what I was meant to say. Um, yep, thanks to our sponsors, Mass Effect as well. And thank you to my co-caster, Deadly. Not a problem. All right, uh, but yeah, before I end the stream as well, remember to post feedback on how the stream was as... I pointed out at the beginning of the stream, it is my little comeback here. I haven't streamed properly in a while without it having no problems. So let me know how it is. Either post it in the stream chat or post it in the live stream thread. That'll be much appreciated. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, catch you guys next time.